are any of your properties in trust? Uh, several of them, yeah. yeah. Why aren't all of them in trust? Um, well, they're all covered by my... Well, I guess they all... Actually, they're all... I don't know. I guess they're not officially in a trust, but I have them all covered. It's not a will, but there's a living trust. I think that's what it's called. They're all identified in my living trust. They're just not recorded that way. Okay. If that makes sense. Right. Cause there are some, there are some things that like your primary home, if you own real estate in other States, there are benefits um, for actually putting it into a trust, but it does add complications. Um, but yeah, not all my California stuff isn't they're all, they're all buried in LLCs and, and other things. So, um, but there is a there's a the living trust has a very detailed schedule of what I want to happen. What you want to happen. When did you start putting that in place? Uh, once we got to four or five properties. Once we the real answer is once we thought we were millionaires. That was that was kind of the aha moment. Oh shit, we might be worth a okay. million dollars. We might be worth a million dollars. It's probably just having to do something. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I mean that's a good one. I don't know because we get, we have life insurance policies. I hear Pace all the time talking about like putting stuff in trusts. Mm -hmm. When we buy, like one of when we buy one of these storage facilities, I think that'll be the time. Yeah, when you get something big, yeah. Right, Trust we're looking at some stuff or, that yeah. is millions. Yeah. So we're okay, now it's probably time, and everything else is in an LLC. But I don't know.